what was your impression of seeing people use electrostatic electricity to clean hash with a glove? Oh, my impression is it's a very difficult process. So, and definitely we need to make it more economical and uh, simpler way. And that's the whole goal of this project. So to make it more technological and replace manual labor with something more sophisticated. And less convoluted. Not convoluted. I don't like too advanced technologies because they usually don't work. It should be simple, but effective. Why does a glove work? It's interesting because I learned I learned that different gloves works differently, and that's just because they they create different tri triboelectrical charge on the screen. So I guess that's that's the point. That gloves is a measure instrument right now to separate good stuff from the hash, right? So I would say the cleanest samples we did get this week was based on was from the glove right yeah so why would you say that is oh just because triboelectrical charging is much more efficient than charging from corona discharge for example there were some traits that i think we discovered in thca today that aren't common knowledge should we publish this knowledge if it is not common knowledge i think so i think i think some limited, li some limited knowledge so what we discovered, it's really fascinating. <laughs> that all cannabinoids have inner charge and this charge is not changing. I'm not sure we need to do a little bit more research to connect dots between cannabinoids content and charge. But definitely we could use this property just to separate good things from bad things. But this is just the beginning of the long journey. So electroseparation proved itself already in many other in many other areas like uh, separation of uh, minerals, separation of grain. But it's only first time we are trying to use this technology to separate cannabinoids from, let's say another biomass which is not so important for us but is that possible is, has it been done in other in industries where you can separate one type of biomass from another i think so i mean the, in in uh brand and flower i believe we were talking about that's a pretty common concept but here not so much i think when we have clearly clearly separated fractions it's easier to it's differentiate. It's easier to separate based on the other properties like mechanical or electrical.